Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is episode two in my second series of seeing if my Garmin watch can train me to a marathon PB. So last week was a bit of a bumper episode. Um, it was probably the longest episode I've done. Um, I didn't intend for it to be that way. I just kind of took as much footage as I could and it obviously ended up having two long runs in there. So we're in a new week, starting on a Monday, fresh start. And hopefully this week will go a little bit better than last week. Um, I've still got shingles, which is really annoying, um, but I've got no choice but to keep going because we are less than seven weeks from race day. So let's see what Garmin has in store for us this week. I've already put it onto my handy dandy spreadsheet. So let's have a look at what we've got on the plan. So here we are. This is what the plan is looking like for this week. So it's Monday today. I'm not doing any running today at all. Um, I've inputted it into Garmin as a rest day, um, but I will be doing a 45 minute bike because I've l just finished work um, and I'm going to go and get this 45 minute bike done. It is a boiling day today and my office here is like a sauna, <laughs> um, but we're going to get it done anyway because it is just, I really feel like power zone um, classes on the peloton I just have, have really been a key factor in my fitness improving so much this block um, I've got a bit of a tight hip a bit of a niggly hip after yesterday's so hopefully that will help stretch that out a bit in a, in a in a low to no impact kind of way so tomorrow we've got a one hour and ten minute tempo session um, I always seem to be having these tempo sessions on a Tuesday so I'm going to kind of go hard tomorrow um, and also get a 30 minute strength class in at lunchtime I'd rather have do my hard days hard so lift weights and do a speed session on the same day obviously I'm leaving it a few hours in between um, but yeah it wants 50 minutes at 540 pace so that is essentially running my 10k PB <laughs> um, <it's laughs> again so um, we'll see how that goes Wednesday I've already planned in a rest day because I'm on site with work um, I'm going to be leaving very early in the morning and not getting home till quite late so it's just not going to happen so I put that in as a as, I put that in as well as a rest day Thursday we've got a nice chill 48 minute base run Friday we're looking at an anaerobic session of three by five minutes at three no not by five minutes three times five times 40 seconds at 420 a k pace um that's going to be interesting so I'm, I'm guessing that's going to take me probably to about 12k depends how quick or um, i don't really want to go too quick because how, it depends how much i jog those recoveries uh speaking of recoveries we have a nice recovery run on the saturday um and i'm also on that friday i'm going to do a my 30 minute ride at lunchtime just like i did last week and then long run uh, Garmin has put in a two and a half hour long run which is I mean it might not stay there <laughs> they've appeared on my daily suggestions and they've disappeared as quick but um, I'm actually planning to do a longer long run so I've actually planned out my long runs from now until race day so I did 26k yesterday um, and then I'm gonna do a two and a half hour long run so I'm gonna do a half marathon this Sunday so that actually time ties in quite nicely to the plan I was gonna do so yay for Garmin uh, then next week I'm gonna do another 24k and then 26 and then 28 which is probably where I'll cap I know I said in my previous video I was gonna cap out three hours but I reckon I could do three hours 15 um, with limited amounts of injury potential so that's gonna be my last and longest run is that on the week commencing the 2nd of September so then we're in the taper but yeah that's my plan and that's what this week's looking like obviously I'll let you know if it changes but um let's go and get this bike done fire workout in power zone training what we do is take the intensity of our effort and divide it up into seven zones of power with each zone representing a range of out happy Tuesday I'm having a pre-run snack just finished work And if I don't eat before I go, I will crash and burn. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish this banana and then we'll carry on. Now I've done the banana, <laughs> I'm also going to have a Rice Krispie square. Um, just to get a bit of sugar in me. Garmin's been a right knob today. <laughs> so Garmin would like me to do um, 50 minute, 50, five zero minutes um, at slightly quicker than my 10k pace i think this actually is my 10k pb pace so that's nice um on a quite warm tuesday after work but 
we're going to do it. We're going to make it work. Um, haven't managed to do my strength today. So that's another thing. We're just going to, I'm going to move that to Thursday. Just, I, I've had a busy day at work. I'm not an influencer. I'm not a full-time influencer. Although if anyone wants to send, send me shoes or race entries, take me internationally. That's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, so I've just had to move a few things around. Uh, also, um, Garmin has changed overnight. So um, what was uh, an anaerobic session on Friday is now moved to Thursday and is slightly different. So that's just moved to um, slightly slower but longer intervals and then I've got a base run on Friday now so it's the Friday and Saturday Friday and Saturday Friday and Thursday I've kind of swapped a bit and changed but that's fine so we've just adapted that and then um off the back of that I have then changed my strength session to be on Thursday um so yeah that's where we're at so I'm gonna go and do some suffering um <laughs> uh, it's kind of these kind of runs that scare me actually the ones that are probably going to make the biggest difference so um, I'm still maintaining rather than being productive. I was productive for about four weeks and then recently my VO2 max has just stayed at 46, which is fine. I'm just going to follow the plan. I'm going to trust the process. So, um, you know, we're always wanting to go up a VO2 max. I'm really so close to the edge of excellent. I would love to get up to superior. I'm so close to the edge. I think 47 should do it. Or if I can get, I think it's 46.5. I had a look at like the Garmin um, like thresholds of what takes it into another um, category. So anyway, I'm going to go and get this horrific run done. Um, I'm going to bring you with me. I don't know how much I'll be filming of my suffer fest, um, but if not, we'll just top and tail it in the warm up and the cool down. So yeah, I've got 10 minutes, uh, 10 minute warm up, 50 minutes at 540 pace. Um, bear in mind, I ran the 10k PB at 541 pace so this is really testing me um but also means I, I can do it um and then I've got a 10 minute cool down so let's go and get this done all right I've got prescription sunglasses we've got my new little Lululemon visor we've got our sore vest we have Lululemon uh training shorts with undergarments and I thought it would be a good idea to take out the new pokers um ignore the huge bite on my leg it's grim i think i got bitten by a horse while i'm wrong long, long run um but i thought it'd be a good time to take the hokers out and just see if they're all right because this is like a long enough run that that is a probably a good idea so yeah i'll see you out there okay i've almost finished the warm up and i've gone out a little bit quick which i'm probably gonna pay for now it's worth noting that 540k is a range so it'll probably be up to 6k six minutes a k and probably as low as 520 so we'll just see what i can do um fingers crossed i've had to have a little break i know it's not on the plan but christ alive i think i need to go back to heart rate because this isn't tempo man this is it's freaking threshold. Threshold. Um, also, should have probably bought some water out, but I did not. Um, but I'm 5k in, so I reckon I just turn around now. And that should get me home. Oh, I just need to catch my breath. It's a little bit warm today. It's a bit warm. I should have bought water. I really should. But, but I didn't. So here we are. Um, so I'm going to go back now. And finish up at 10k I think whatever that gets me to so um I don't know whether it's blood but I've got a problem with the hokers guys got a problem with the hokers they seem a little bit short so I've got exactly the same size and exactly the same make my toe heats I don't know if I've got blood on them we'll be playing clean up when we get home then <laughs> right let's go back I cannot hold this pace for 20 more minutes I cannot so I'm going to just get to 10k as best I can. But Christ, I'm not, I'm not okay today, guys. I'm not okay. Right, guys, I am coming to you on Thursday now. So last time you saw me, I was doing my 10k um, on the Tuesday night. Not race, obviously. It was just a tempo session. Um, and I, I mean, I shouldn't beat myself up that I couldn't hold the 540 pace because... Uh, I think 
you know, this time last year I would have given my eye teeth to run a 10k on a random Tuesday night in under an hour. Um, and that's with a 50, 10, 15 minute warm up. So anyway, I finished it. Um, and I was really proud of myself. Yesterday I was just like on site all day with work. Um, and during my on site all day with work in the afternoon, um, I was finding it really, really painful to basically sit down and stand up because I had a really bad pain in my thigh. Um, and then I sat in the car for two and a bit hours on the way home and it was really achy. Like it almost felt like I had cramp. And then when I got home, it was just super painful to like to sit down, mainly sit down and stand up and go um, like up the stairs. Anything that kind of where I'm driving force through that leg to sit down, stand up or go up and down the stairs, but like mainly up the stairs actually like when I'm putting all my weight on that leg um it's just super painful so uh I'm going to have I'm, I'm gonna have a few days off running because I think that with almost six weeks to go there is no point in me trying to run on an injury uh I don't I didn't feel anything tear or like nothing was like a sudden sharp pain when I was running I didn't actually feel any pain until yesterday afternoon um and it came on very gradually so it could just be a bit of muscle soreness um so I'm going to do the standard resting elevating <laughs> this is all out of the wrong order rest ice compression elevation I'm gonna less of the compressing I think but um I'm just gonna try and do some hot and cold therapy um you know I basically went to bed <laughs> and slathered my whole thigh in like Tiger, Tiger Balm and CBD um, and we're just going to have to wait and see I mean it's it's just it's just you know marathon training I know it's kind of normalized now a lot with social media um, but it, it you know it does put a lot of strain on your body and I just need to be really sensible at this point in training otherwise we could make something worse and I don't want to jeopardize getting to that Berlin start line so it's Thursday today, I'm going to take a full rest day today um, and probably tomorrow and probably Saturday and then I will try and get my long run as long as I'm I'm not in pain, which is the main thing. Um, I'm fine actually walking and standing, it's just when I've got to put a lot of like force through that leg. So we're going to be sensible, it is not worth risking um, an injury, a real serious injury. I'm really hoping this is just some real crazy doms. Um, or I've just pulled it funny. I don't know really. I don't know what it is. I'm not physio. I'm not <laughs> medically qualified. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see how it goes. Um, I've got uh, my Morton coming tomorrow. I've ordered the drink mix, uh, caffeine gels and just normal gels. So I'm going to try and like, have a sip of um, both the gels at rest and just see how they are in my stomach. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to be quite kind to myself. I'm not going to be an idiot and I will be back with you when I'm not in pain. Uh, I've also still got shingles, so it might, it might actually do me good to have a few days of rest to really give my body a chance to recover. And hopefully this will inspire you, <laughs> viewer, to, you know, be kind to yourself. Um, I really struggle with rest days. I really struggle with feeling lazy and like I'm not committing or, you know, pushing through pain or, I have a real complex about actually giving myself a bit of grace and resting when I need a rest day. Um, so yeah, we're going to take it easy today um, and just see how it goes. But yeah, I just wanted to give you an update. I'm not having a lot of luck at the moment. <laughs> I think my body hates me. Um, the good news is I've spoken to Runners Need about the hokers because they are really short. Um, and they're going to refund me, I hope. It sounded like they were going to refund me anyway. Um, I spoke to them on the phone this morning. They were really nice about it, really understanding. Um, I don't live anywhere near a runner's needs store at all. It's, but I think my nearest store is about 50, 50 miles away. So, um, yeah, they're going to like sort it all out online for me. But, yeah, it's really weird that those um, hokers are too short, considering they're exactly the same size and make and model. So, yeah, uh, and a frambling. And I will speak to you when I'm not in pain anymore. Or at least give you an update. But thanks, guys. See you in a bit. So it's now Sunday. So I've had four Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four full days off. I didn't do anything. 
like the most I've done is walk. Um, no strength, no cycling, no running. And it's Sunday, Sunday afternoon actually. And I am pretty confident as I had absolutely no pain from dawn till <laughs> dusk <laughs> yesterday and today the, and, and no pain at all doing any of those activities that I've just mentioned that were so painful on Friday. So I am pretty confident I can run on it. Now, I've got very mature <laughs> when it comes to running. So instead of going out and doing a long run, um, on the towpath today as per usual we're going to be a sensible sausage and we're going to do our long run a longish run we'll see what happens on the treadmill um, one there's no incline I don't intend to add any incline today two it's a pretty safe surface um, pretty forgiving surface um, and I think I think what I've done what I had done to this was from overstriding over a pothole um and I've just, I'd maybe just pulled the muscle or something. I don't know, still don't know. It's a miracle. Um, it also means I can try out some new fuel. Um, I've got some Morton, which is the fuel of choice, um, fuel of choice, the fuel sponsor for Berlin Marathon. So I thought it would be good to get be able to try a gel um, and I can do it with the safety of the treadmill. I can also make up some of the drink mix actually as well. Um, and have a bottle of that and a bottle of Lucasade. I'm um, just drink both, and I can probably have a gel as well. Um, in the safety of my own home, i.e., if my tummy does not agree, I can just go to the loo. So I thought all around doing a bit of um, a Sunday long run on the tread might be the most sensible option all round, really, for leg and for stomach. It's also kind of good for mentally training myself like it you know I don't know anyone that would choose to do the long run on a treadmill um I have got the peloton tread so obviously I've got some entertainment I've actually stacked the New York Marathon series of runs which is a, a five part run so it's half an hour for each borough that you go through through New York so I thought that wouldn't be like it's always good to like listen to some marathon chat so that's my plan so yeah I'll take you downstairs and let's just see how I do if obviously if my leg starts to hurt I stop and we reassess but yeah it's four o'clock <laughs> which is a bit late in the day but I've had lunch actually about two hours ago so it's had time to go down and it's just let's go and do it oh you procrastinate let's just go let's go and do long run uh, just for reference Garmin wanted me to do two hours and six minutes today so we'll try and get two hours done see how the uh, leg is but let's do this okay I've done an hour um, and I think I've done about 8k which is fine. Um, I think my I think my tread is tracking slightly slow. Well, quite a bit slow. It feels like I'm doing six at least six thirty pace, but the, the tread's saying like seven seven thirty. Okay, it's fine. I'm ignoring the pace. It's absolutely fine. So I'm going. I'm just trying to keep my heart rate in zone two, incline flat, and I think my legs are alright. I'm not really trying not to overly focus on it, but it's fine. So I've done about an hour, and I think I'm going to do another hour. So I'll do part three and part four, and then like a five minute cool down, and then that should take me to two hours and six minutes, which is what Garmin wants, and is kind of what I think I've got in me today. Um, so that will probably take me up to... Uh, 8k just an 8 so about 18k today which I think is fine for a, a long run on a, a bit of a tricky week so yeah it's half five now I could do another hour and then call it a day but I'm really proud of myself for getting it done um, I haven't actually had the gel yet I don't really feel like I need it so I don't really want to waste it um, but I have had quite a bit of the drink mix which I've put in here 
It's fun, I can't really taste anything. It's a little bit grainy. Well, I haven't done the best job of mixing it, but it's fine. Right, I'm gonna do part three and part four, and I'll save the central part of the finish um, for another day. Which will give me something to look forward to, like another run when I'm back on here. So it is the next day now, guys. I am, um, I have hair on my face. Ugh. Okay. So it's the next day now, guys, and I have clean hair, uh, and I survived. <laughs> um, I tell you what, I've never done a long run on the tread before, and wouldn't recommend. I find it mentally, I found that mentally really difficult actually, because um, it's a scenic run, so you're just kind of looking at. I mean, it's really cool because you're kind of looking at the New York Marathon. You're like running, you running, you are running the New York Marathon route. So they they filmed it after the. I think it was like the safe, not the safety car. I'm thinking of like MotoGP, Formula One. But you know what I mean? Like they sent a car out, I think, after the elites. So um, yeah, it was really good. Obviously, I haven't finished it. I didn't do part five. I didn't finish the marathon. <laughs> um, but it, it was good. The chat was nice. Um, but it, that was definitely a mental challenge. Um, can't believe how little fuel I had, actually. Um, I only had one 500ml bottle of LucasAid Sport and probably about 500ml of the... Um, Morton drink mix, uh, which was f like really fine. I ex I don't know what I expected it to taste of, but uh, it's just basically don't <laughs> like drinking sugar water, uh, which was not unpleasant. So week twelve is done. Um, obviously, this is the episode two, and it's a short one today, so I feel like uh, it's not too bad because last week's was so long um but yeah I guess it just goes to show that taking a few days of rest when you feel a niggle is is not the end of the world um I mean I only got 28k 28k done this week so it's a bit of a cutback week but with six weeks out I think that's a good time to be having a bit of a cutback cut week um and I still managed to do 18k in two hours which is a really great pace and actually I, I finished stronger so I tried to do each um 4k 5k try to, like, anyway try to do each half an hour um slightly quicker so that I would finish quicker than I started uh, and that worked out really well and I did definitely did get by the last one I was like I just want this done now so I did speed up a bit but obviously it was still going to be half an hour because it's time based anyway so this is kind of what week 12 looks like guys um in the end so not a particularly content heavy week but as this one is a little bit shorter I thought I thought I would plan out next week with you here um just <laughs> as it might be quite interesting um and then next week I can just not do this bit if that makes sense so yeah um we've got a nice blank slate um, and I'm going to go and put in the uh, runs that Garmin is suggesting for this week. And then we, I will come back and we'll do a bit of a guesstimate of how many K that's going to be each day and what we're looking at achieving this week. Okay, I'm back. Um, and this is, this is what we, <laughs> this is what we've got going on. So, um, I haven't put any, like last week I put in rest days and I haven't done that this week because I haven't actually got any plans this week. So I didn't really want to like limit I just wanted to see what Garmin would give me if I didn't put in any rest days. <laughs> um, so today I'm actually going to not do this base run because um, I did a long run yesterday and I kind of don't tend to run the day after a long run. So um, I'm actually going to do a 45 minute um, power zone endurance um, ride on the bike tonight. Um, that's my plan for today and it kind of mimics the 39 minute base run that it wants me to do anyway so that's fine tomorrow oh, I'm a bit annoyed about this <laughs> I've got a 38 minute threshold and it's 18 minutes at 5.20 um, which is going to be bloody tough but that's why it's a threshold workout so um, that will probably take me I'd probably say about 6k maybe uh, might do a bit more but we'll see probably about 6k maybe because mm, there's a cool there's a warm-up and a cool down as well so yeah let's say six and if I do more that's great I'd rather underestimate how far I'm gonna go and then do a bit more Wednesday is a base run 
um that will probably be i'm trying to look at another time i did a 42 minute what does that come to six and a half so let's do 6.5 um and then on thursday i see vo2 max appeals that's only two minutes at five minute okay pace that's absolutely fine so let's say that one's going to probably take me six as well it depends how far it depends how quickly i do the recoveries um and then i don't think i'm going to run on friday i think i'm going to do the 40 no, i think i'm going to do the 30 minute um power zone class that day uh so we're doing a bit of cross training instead so let's put in 30 minute and it's a power zone this week not power zone endurance so it's slightly more intense but we're good it's on the bike so it's low impact um so i'm gonna put in zero and then i'm gonna copy and paste the no running over here and we're gonna merge stunning uh and then we've got a anaerobic session on saturday this is quite nice actually i don't mind this this is all right again some fast work Oh, I can't remember the next time last time I did this. I'm just trying to find an example because it just kind of get, helps me gauge it. I don't think I've done one of the anaerobics actually. Oh yeah, I did. Actually, it's probably going to be the same as that. So let's say, let's say five points. Let's round it up to six. So that's a good thing about keeping the data. I can borrow it from another time. So that takes me to um, 24 and a half. And then, Garmin surprisingly it's given me a two hour and 24 minute long run which is unheard of um but i might go a bit longer to be honest because i only did 18k yesterday so according to my long run schedule what should i have been doing this week a 24k let's do 24k i think that's probably the right idea let's do another 24k which does leave us a little bit less than we've done before um but i mean i only went down to 28 so it's still like a lot more than i did last week so yeah let's leave it at that and then we could probably do a couple more weeks of build um and then finish i want to try and finish on a 60k week is my peak week um so there there we go um, obviously if i do a bit more that's great i might decide to run on friday um but i think i should try and run five days a week and not six but we'll see where we are i mean i could do an extra 4k and that would get us back up into the 50 50s um but yeah that's that's what we're looking at for next week so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it there guys thanks for sticking with it this week i'm as frustrated as you with the injury but at least touch wood i've got no pain today um i didn't have any pain while running yesterday so it looks like, i don't know what it was really don't because it you know i've gone from not even being able to really climb the stairs without wincing on friday night to being absolutely fine so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe and then you'll be notified i do try and post every monday um and this will be i guess up to and including berlin marathon race day so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you soon thanks guys bye